Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Renewable Energy Sources. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss most important questions which can be expected from Module 3. First of all, I would like to share you the screen and kindly go through that. I request everybody to bring one pen and paper to note down the important questions uh, from each topic. Initially, I wanted to show you what are the major contents you are going to learn in Module 3. Uh, you know that uh, Module 3 is segmented into four major components. First one, you will be dealing with uh, hydrogen energy. Later, you are going to learn wind energy, then geothermal energy, ultimately solid-based and agricultural refuses. So these are the things we are going to discuss in Module 3 in detail. So what I have done is I have gathered all the questions which are from different uh, university question papers. And I will be pointing out uh, which questions you need to focus more and uh, what are the different type of questions which, which are repeated in the previous year uh, question papers. So I'm talking about the hydrogen topic, hydrogen energy. So please uh, go through my uh, slide number uh, one. You can see that uh, March 2022. Uh, here, uh, the hydrogen energy, I'm talking about majorly on hydrogen energy. The first one is actually, I found that the question number 1B, C, question number B, uh, explain uh, the methods of hydrogen production technology. That is very, very important. It carries the weightage of uh, six marks. You are advisable to, you are advised to mention at least four to five methods. Fine. So uh, that is the uh, question which is belong to hydrogen energy uh, from uh, this particular question paper. Uh, when it comes to another question paper, so as we can see, uh, they have specifically mentioned one method called the electrolytic production technology. Okay, so what is electrolytic production technology? It is uh, having the weightage of six marks. In that, you need to mention about the block diagram, chemical equations, especially how to produce the hydrogen. Fine, uh, that is also very important. Uh, that also I have mentioned. Uh, next is actually, I, I would like to uh, move on to uh, another uh, set, like list the advantages and disadvantages of hydrogen energy, which is having the weightage of five marks. We can easily write, you know, it's not an issue. Okay, now I'll be showing you another question paper of December uh, 2019. Uh, so uh, they have also asked one question, like discuss the advantages of hydrogen energy. Easily you can score six marks without any confusion. Also, uh, the repeated question, explain the different hydrogen production technology. Fine. I hope you got to know which question you have to focus more uh, from this question paper. It is very clear now. Yeah. So that is my intention. Uh, so please uh, make a note of this. I hope you are noting down. Uh, now, moving on to the last set of question paper. Uh, see, uh, what are the applications, advantages and disadvantages of hydrogen energy, which carries seven marks? So without any doubt, you can easily... Uh, score seven marks. Apart from that, mention the problems associated with the development of an application of hydrogen energy, which is having the uh, weightage of four marks. What is seven plus four? It is nothing but 11 marks you will be getting from hydrogen energy uh, in this particular scheme. So we cannot predict which questions will be, which, what is a contribution? Well, I mean, uh, what is a like a percentage? We cannot predict. However, important question we can predict. All, all right. So hope you will be uh, noting down these uh, questions from the section hydrogen energy. Okay. Now I am going to uh, uh, focus on wind energy. So let us move on to the topic wind energy. What are all the important questions? Yes, I am going to hear the answer. Uh, the first one is actually very, very important question. Uh, discuss the consideration and guidelines for the wind turbine selection. Also comment on uh, world wind energy scenario. It carries the weightage of 8 marks, 4 plus 4 division. Okay, another one is actually called uh, wind characteristics. Explain the wind characteristics. Whenever you are explaining, you, know, you have to explain the equation. Wind power is equal to uh, half rho A V cube. This equation is very important. Wherever you are writing about wind characteristics, you have to explain these equations. Fine. P is equal to half rho A V cube. So this is very important. Okay, uh, fine. Now let me show you another set of question paper. So wind characteristics you have to explain, like mechanical and electrical characteristics you have to explain. Uh, now, uh, January 2018. So let's see what are the other questions uh, which is related to wind energy. So here, uh, discuss the factors considered for wind turbine selection. Very, very important. Okay. Uh, that is a crucial question. And wind characteristics, that is also another repeated questions. Okay. Fine. Now, question number, uh, sorry, uh, another question paper. Uh, 2019, 
So you can see that uh, discuss the consideration and guidelines for the wind turbine, explain the world wind energy, repeated question. So please don't leave this. I request everybody, please don't leave this question. Uh, so uh, these are the important questions from uh, like uh, uh, wind, uh, wind energy. Now one more set is remaining. Yes, of course, that is for 20, uh, 2015 scheme. So here, let us see what are the questions related to wind energy. Uh, so let me see, yes. Explain the considerations and guidelines of uh, wind power generation. So that's also quite important. Uh, one more is there, what are the advantages and disadvantages of horizontal axis wind turbine? So it carries five marks, five plus five, 10 marks. It has come from uh, the, uh, the topic, which has come from wind energy is almost 10 marks. It's a great actually. Okay, so we can score it well. Uh, fine. So I uh, hope you got to know which point you have to focus on wind energy. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let me see uh, the third topic that is geothermal power generation. Okay. So in the geothermal power generation, what and all the important topic you need to focus in the forthcoming examination, I'm going to guide you. So let me see the first question paper, latest one. Uh, in the late, uh, latest question paper, one question I have seen that, yes. Uh, with a neat block diagram, binary cycle based geothermal plant you have to explain. Also list the advantages of geothermal power plant. It carries the weightage of eight marks. Okay, it's a good contribution. So you'll be getting eight marks if you elaborate what is binary cycle. One more cycle is there. I will explain what is in that. I will show, tell you what is the another type of cycle. Uh, now let me see another question paper. In this question paper, I have come to know that uh, another cycle I told you now. Uh, a neat diagram explain the single flash geothermal power plant. It is having the weightage of six marks. Not a problem. So uh, directly you can draw the block diagram and explain. Uh, similarly, one more thing. With a neat block diagram, explain the binary cycle uh, electric power plant. Also list the advantages of geothermal power plant. It is a repeated question. So please make a note of this. It may ask in future also. Correct? Yes. Now, December 2019, you can see. Uh, so let's see that uh, what, what are the questions uh, which, which had come in the domain of geothermal power plant. Uh, with the neat diagram, explain the any, uh, any two types of uh, uh, like a geothermal power plant. You need to explain about binary cycle based geothermal power plant as well as single flash geothermal power plant. If, uh, if you are having with any other information, that also can be explained. There is no issue regarding that. Now let's see another uh, another question paper. Uh, here also you can see that uh, see explain any one type of geothermal power plant, whichever convenient. Either I, you may convenient it to single flash geothermal plant. Please go ahead. Okay, so that point I think you will manage it. Yes, only uh, this much questions from geothermal power plant. Now I would like to move on to. Oh, the so solid waste and agricultural waste. Let's see what are the what are the, what are the questions uh, which are repeated, uh, which are repeated in the area of uh, solid waste management and agricultural refuse. All right. So it's a simple topic only. Mainly it's dealing with the recycling, recovery of plastic, 3R concept, then different kinds of plastics, all those things. It's a very gen generic uh, domain. So there is no issue regarding uh, like a technical jargon or something like that. Uh -huh. So in that, we can say about uh, first, first question, uh, briefly uh, explain on recycling of plastic, weightage is six marks. Block diagram is important, fine. Uh, so that is very important. Similarly, write a short note on recycling on waste. Okay, two options they have given, not, no issues. Easy. They are giving importance for this particular subject, six marks. Fine. So block diagram is mandatory with a brief, brief explanation that you have to do. Uh, another one is actually, uh, see, uh, let's see the another one. Is there any question from uh, like a last, uh, like a plastic refuse or, or something like that? No, no question repeated, no issues, leave it. 2018 questions asked this actually means so that's why uh, you have to cover all the topics that is a summary please cover all the topics at least to go through that see that uh, topic is not asked in this particular domain so like that uh, depends depends on the uh, question paper settings we cannot say uh, now um, what is another yes with a block diagram briefly explain the waste recovery management system uh, it carries the weightage of eight marks explain all the components now look at another question related to that uh, waste management. Discuss the recycling of plastics. It carries four marks. See, 12 marks you will be getting. Correct. 
some question paper more weightage, some another question paper less weightage. We cannot say like that. Fine. Anyway, we can identify the important question. That is my intention uh, in front of everybody. Uh, now we can say about another type of question. We can point out. Mm. So is there any questions related to the waste or biomass refuse? Okay, yeah, here nothing. No questions. Leave it. Okay, thank you for uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this domain, what what I what I have done is. Uh, I have covered most important questions uh, based on uh, the uh, module three and that there are four segments. Uh, you uh, definitely, I feel that you got a confidence that which question you have to focus more, which question is you can give less uh, priority. At least uh, if you are giving less priority, go read once, read once. I will uh, show you what I prepared the PPT and I will, uh, in the next video, I'm going to guide you how to, uh, how to present it, how to write, how to write, how to present uh, that particular answer based on these important questions. Okay. So stay tuned with my next video. Definitely, I'm going to show you the answers. Okay. Now only I've highlighted the important um, questions. Now I'm going to explain the answers in the forthcoming session. Kindly stay tuned. Uh, have a happy learning. So do well.